Hey everyone, this is Valerie and welcome back to Art a la Carte. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to draw a deer. I worked at a camp this summer with a whole bunch of kids and it was really fun because there was a family of deer that can kind of hung out in the camp area and so um, I was able to kind of sit down and watch them, you know, kind of graze around the, the campground and was able to get some really cool photos as well. And the photos are kind of funny because they were actually in our paintball field so there's these gigantic tires and things all around but they didn't mind. They were having fun eating all the yummy tidbits and grass. And so I really encourage you guys that if you have a chance to be able to take photos of things you want to draw. These were some of the photos that I took. So I'm going to be using this photo right here as my reference photo. This was one of the, the mama deers. Mama deer. Mommy dearest. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw out her basic body shape. And her, her body itself is kind of this nice rectangle shape and we're kind of little narrow it down a little bit more detail in a little bit here but nice shape here and you'll see I'm drawing really loose keeping my lines really really loose and, and light as well so that I can go back and erase them if I need to and then surprisingly enough um, I would have given a deer more of a thicker neck but she has a really really thin neck it kind of comes up about halfway up her chest before it comes up um, a lot of times I would give them I guess Think of it more of a horse neck, um, but really it's not, kind of more like a llama neck. And then the shape of her head, I'm going to give her a nice circle for the kind of the skull area, and then it's going to come down to this kind of rounded out triangle here. Just like so. And then her chest here. She had a pretty good belly on her. There were two fawns, and I don't know if one was hers. There was two does there. Um, but she had, she had a nice belly. I think there was a lot of grass to eat too. Now her back, she has a little bit comes up with her shoulder blade up here, but then it's, it's really flat. It doesn't come sway back like a, a horse's back does. It really just goes really flat and then arches up just a bit for the back haunches and then down. Okay, now we're going to put in her legs and I'm just going to kind of symbolize those with some lines here. So the shoulder right up here, going back to like her back elbow and then coming straight down. And then her other leg is kind of bent out a little bit, so it comes out, put a little circle there for the knee, bent down to her hoof right there. And then her back leg, which is her hips are up here, comes down to her knee, goes back to the back of her heel, and then down the back leg, and kind of bending at the hoof there. And then this leg was brought forward a little bit, and here she just heard me and was kind of like, ah, I think I'll move on to quadrupesters. So she wasn't totally freaked out, but she wasn't going to stick around too much longer. All right, so we have our legs in position, and now we can go ahead and flush them out just a little bit. So I'm going to bring in the top part of her leg coming down to her knee is a little bit thicker. Not a lot. She's got very thin, delicate legs. But once it hits her knee, it really thins out, really, really quickly after that. And do these just really dainty little hooves. Same thing over here, a little bit thicker up the top part, but hits that knee joint and then just, there's just kind of bone and tendon. That's pretty much all there is. I don't know if there's much meat on that leg. Little hooves here. Now the back leg here has a pretty good haunch. And it's got this, she's got a really good kind of back heel bone right here. And then after that, then again, it slenders out. And down. And then thick over here. To that back heel. And then slendering down to her little foot there. And you can either put her tail up if you want to. Up is a little bit more alarmed. Um, she wasn't too alarmed in the picture. You can't even see her tail. I'm going to put her tail out just a little bit. Because you're an artist, you can change whatever you want about this. So I'm going to put her little tail out just a bit. And then I want to work on her ears. So I'm going to kind of just put in her ears kind of these large circly globes. And her ears are much bigger in comparison to her head than say like a horse or, you know, or a cow or anything like that. They're really, really big ears. And just really tune into whatever is kind of making noise out there. And she's got a pretty good broad forehead that kind of comes down to 
tell about her where her eyes would be and then it kind of sinks in just a little bit and then comes down to her muzzle which is rounded just a little bit down to her mouth and then just a little bit of a jaw underneath that kind of comes back in boom just like that maybe her head's a little bit big I'm going to shrink her head down a little bit that's what you want to draw really nice and lightly so we can shrink it down in proportion I tend to sometimes draw my heads because um, I do a lot of cartooning and in cartooning I always make things a little bit bigger than what they're normally supposed to be and so when I try to draw realistic I always have to remember heads are not usually that big and it's okay to kind of go oh, that's not good even if you have a good head drawn it's always best to fix it when you first notice them you know it's the proportions out of line rather than just finish it and then not really like the drawing take that time to fix things okay I'm gonna go and put her other eye right in here it's a very nice almond shaped kind of lemon shaped not a lot of color in it not even a lot of shine just very very dark right in there and then her nose kind of, kind of wraps in like this and it's a little bit a little bit dark and she's got a little kind of white mouth here like so and you can kind of shade in the inside of her ears kind of push those the insides in just a little bit makes it kind of look a little 3d-ish and there we go we have our nice little sketch of our of our deer now in the picture it doesn't show a lot of her hooves it shows this one right back here and it just comes down to this very very delicate little triangle right down here it's got a little bit of a little kind of a little back hawk right there but just very very slender so you could either put her hooves in if you wanted to or in this picture they're kind of covered up with some grass that adds a little bit of atmosphere where your character is so I'm going to add a little bit of grass under here just like that so once everything is the way you like it go ahead and take your eraser clean up the lines that you don't need and then we're ready to add in just some finishing little details there Okay, so I've erased a lot of the lines that I don't need, and with it kind of erased a little bit of my outline lines. So I'm going to go put those back in, but now I'm going to be a little bit more careful with my lines. And I'm going to use little sh small strokes. I want this to look not so cartoony. Um, so these little tiny strokes are going to help me give the indication of some fur. And so they're going to go in the direction of how the fur would move on the body. And as it gets down farther down the leg, it's going to thin out a little bit, so the hair's not going to be as thin. So I'll go ahead and switch over to making just a regular line with that. But in places that she's a little fuzzier, like towards the back of her underside of her belly, just use those little lines and it will help to kind of show that off. comes around it sinks in right in here so to kind of show that in there I'm going to add a little bit of shading I'm just going to push in just a little bit of a of a circle right there you can kind of see that in the photo how it just has a little bit of a shadow there so if you want to add some shadow and you can see this this back leg here it has a lot of shadow right in here helps push that back And you want to kind of gradient that out and if you need to you can blend that out you can either use like a blending stick or your finger whatever you'd like it really helps if you move the pencil in the direction that the fur is going it just it'll help you out some back here there's you know you kind of see the bone and the tendons here put a little bit of a shadow in there to kind of help define that out just a little bit to kind of decide on her own tail I'm going to put just a little bit of darker on the top of her tail leave that underside white there you'll see I'm using the side of my pencil as well and that's just going to kind of help not get that really sharp line that you would get if you held your pencil straight up but holding it back and on its side is going to give a little bit of a flatter line 
help you to get that grating in if you need it. Nice and dark right underneath here. Nice and dark here. And then lightens up a little bit in the front there for some highlight. And then even though this is light in color, it's actually kind of white under there, so it's a little bit darker. And then we'll put just a little bit of shadow around the sides of her neck. It's going to make her look a little bit rounder. I'm going to put just a little bit of shadow on her back here, too. And she's looking a little bit, a little like she ate a little too much. So I'm going to gradient out that shadow. That's going to bring that the roundness down just a little bit. Remember, when you add shadow to something, it pushes things back and your highlights bring things forward. So if this comes out too much, just add a little bit more shadow to it and it will bring it all in together there. I want this nice and dark though. It's always better to kind of go in a little by little and add that in as you're going rather than to get too dark and then have a really hard time erasing things. So I'm going to push some nice dark into that ear to push that ear back. And then just the very tip of her ear. She's got this kind of dark patch on the tip of her ear there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shadow on her face here. But I want to bring out her eye socket a little bit. So you'll see I kind of put this little round little loop up there. Kind of help out there. And then she's a little bit of a bags under her eyes. Her babies are keeping her up all night. It's probably all the camp kids. <laughs> they were loud. <laughs> yeah, you could just really go in and study the pictures that um, of animals and just really get some good details. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of the pictures that I took of these deer on my Facebook page. And you can go ahead and even save them to your computer if you'd like to. Use them as reference photos. Um, yeah, they're not the best quality pictures, but they're something. I'll share my my fortune of finding a deer. My deer pictures. Well, there we go. You know, again, you could just continue adding as much detail to this as you possibly want and turn it into a really cool picture. You could add a background to it. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, but it just kind of gave you kind of the buildup of more of a realistic deer. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And check out my other videos too. I post uh, new art videos, you know, three times a week. So there's always something new and it's on all different kinds of categories. Um, I get my ideas from what you guys want to see drawn. So if there's something special that you'd like to see, um, a tutorial on how to draw, make sure to leave that in the comment section below. Make sure to check out my Facebook page so you can get a copy of these photos for your own reference. So until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.